ladies and gentlemen, for the 781st time, The Mason and Friends Show, featuring that dude called Mike, a.k.a. His Black Handness. Yeah. As well as that dude called Jew, a.k.a. His Jewness. Hey. As well as Jubu, a.k.a. Jubunis. Jubunis. Hello. <laughs> Me, I am Mahoney, a.k.a. Masonis. Welcome to the Mason and Friends Show. What's happening, y'all? What's good out there today? I feel you got it. Push the button for a minute, not a minute, but like two or three seconds. You gotta get a try little to heat the shit up before you start pulling on it. I need you yeah. to preheat that element for you let that yeah. thing get, get on the ride there. Before you, before you take a pull on that thing there. So, off air, we were talking about Mason if he had two of himself. Oh, yeah, I don't even remember how this started, but yeah. I don't remember said, either. Somebody clone, we yeah, know, he was, so, we wanted to clone yourself. So somebody said, clone. Jubu said she could clone herself. But she wanted to clone herself. For all of the work that she yeah, has to yeah. do. You yeah. said for three some purposes. I said if clone I clone myself, I'd be running trains on bitches with my clone. Now, here's the thing with that though. Are you like okay? Are you gonna do like Birdman and Wheezy? Like you know, one fuck him in the ass with the other beat up the pussy. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, cause see that? Cause then you, I, you, 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 I don't know. I fuck him in the ass with my clone beat up a pussy. Yeah, like so. But your balls are gonna be slapper, right? You know what I mean? Like, she got the up. I mean, if I gotta bump balls, I suppose it'd be best to do it with a clone of myself. But. <clears throat> Are but you I, different I'm than wearing the, like, I'm wearing a finger trap style if I'm going to be okay, running a okay. train. One at one end, one at the other end. Okay. Yeah. One in the front, one in the, you know. So y'all be dapping each other up like, yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah, my, my, my clone, what's what up, my clone? Is, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a game of battleship on the bitch back. <laughs> and we're going to try to sink each other's battleship. To... You fucking stupid. So wait a minute. What if the clone starts getting more ass than you, though? Well, I mean, we're not going to hang out all the time, so it could happen. Who cares? <laughs> I ain't worried about all that. Yeah. You're going to fuck the bitch at the same time I mean, clone. what I really need is a clone so we can afford to live somewhere. You know <laughs> yeah, no shit. Like, you go to your job, I'll go to my job. We'll stay in the same house, and then we yeah. like, fuck the same bitches, and they won't even know. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to slide in. Nah, I don't even really want to slide in. I just, I'm like in a state of like not giving a fuck lately about much. It's kind of nice. It's like I got a... Uh, I kind of, I kind of look at it like you know, like uh, I'm on my own. I'm me, myself, and I. Yeah. Like I have been most of my life, and I don't really have any sort of expectation of like finding bitches, you know, to hang out with on a regular. Yeah. So like, I just don't really give a shit. I'm yeah, running around doing my thing, like, you know. Yeah. I'm a V cell, you know. I'm a not an N cell. I'm a V cell. Yeah, join your shit. Voluntary celibate, like, fuck it. Yeah, shit I happens, it happens, you run across something, you run across yeah, it. Yeah, it's just how I've always sort of played it. Like, yeah. I just like looking at life like, all right, well, fuck, I got a couple things I can control. And you know what the beautiful thing about like putting your money into things like that are inanimate objects? They don't do nothing but pay you back. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you put something, you know, you put something nice on your car, your car is nicer. You buy yourself something nicer for the podcast, podcast is nicer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a beautiful thing I got going in my life right now. Well, there you go. Congratulations on you that. You know, in a lot of ways. Now, I sent y'all something on Instagram. This shit, I just happened to run across it, and it was stupid enough that I had to fucking send it to y'all. Well, you know, you find all the dumbest of things on Well, the see, internet. that's the thing. At this point now, I don't think it's me finding it. I think it's the algorithm working it with me. It knows what you like. Yeah, it knows what you want. It's not even knows what I like. It knows what I search <laughs> because of the fucking show. You know what I'm saying? But this dude over in fucking England, or so let me see, I'm gonna I'm make sure I get this right. If the internet will work with me and let me pull it up, and it will, it did. 25 year old Liam Brown pleads guilty this week to having sex with a cow in England. Now, Oh, he's on surveillance cameras. What was it? Just I'm, from the back or missionary? I think we. How, how the fuck she you might have been, been laying down? down? No, he got the cow going he's on top. Definitely from the back. Yeah, he reversed cowgirl with the cow. Could have been laying down. No, it was not. Nah, there's no way. There's no. What the fuck? This nigga busted the knuckles while DNA re- reported from the scene confirmed what had occurred at the farm. 
The farmers told the court that Brown's relatives worked on the land and they known him since he was a kid. See, but here's the thing that always freaks keep me out. Of, keep it from cows forever. But here's the thing that always freaks me out about these stories, though. Like, look at I get it. Sex is fun, right? If you're going to fuck a cow, you can't put on a rubber. It's a cow, dog. When's the last time you think she washed this her snatch? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You worried about the cow snatch. Get the fuck out of here. Like, like, put a rubber on. You <laughs> worried about the bird, bird flu and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why it's going to be the I'm worried about mad cow mad dick disease. Mad cow disease. Mad cow disease. I got mad cow dick the disease. The coli flu. He worried about the, the E. coli flu. Yeah, he could get the coli in the dick, I Look guess. There's a lot of things to be concerned about. You put your arms in a cow. I'm saying. There's a fucking cow. A lot of things to be concerned about when it comes to sticking your dick in a cow. But damn. I would use a condom if I was fucking a cow. I mean, I'm not. I ain't raw dog in a cow, bro. Exactly. Or any animal. Exactly. They wouldn't have DNA yeah. evidence on me. No, no, they they oh, you know, they the, the vaginal swab we took off the cow gave us your DNA. Yeah, like, yo. Put a rubber on, you sick fuck. Uh, hey, man. That, the cow rapist. Yeah. That, that's a beefy <laughs> vagina, though. That That's that's really a roast beef vagina. That is serious beef. That's super beef, man. You put your whole arm in that. Yeah, that's hot thing. Like, you, see, you can't you, be you touching what, walls. Nah, you can't be touching walls. Hold up. You know what that says to me? Maybe maybe you could deal with some bitches you'd be fisting. Maybe, right? If a dude can fuck a cow and come when another man can throw his arm fully he's up in there. He's definitely fucking a fist, bitch. He's show. fucking a cow. He's fucking anything Same. he's fisting. Like... So you're thinking this motherfucker is fucking just a thick dick motherfucker then? Thick dick. I think he's willing to fuck anything, so... He's either real hard I think it's just this cow, though. He's hard in or he could be yeah. John Coleman. He could, be nine but, he could be nine but three and a quarter, you know what I mean? He, he might just have a relationship. He's he separate blood flowing to that bitch. I feel like you boys know? stick their dick in a lot of things. No, like, we don't. don't. Like, I don't know, no. the whole American Pie thing. Like, uh, that's what fucked people up was American yeah, Pie. Yeah, no, I think that's, that's. I think there's a lot of things that fuck people up, yeah. like walking into your parents fucking that fucks that people. Does, I ain't never I met guess. nobody that fucked a pie. Uh-huh. No. Nah. If I was gonna do it, if I was gonna fuck a pie, I would probably keep it simple and get like a <laughs> get like a McDonald's apple pie. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Not get a McDonald's keep, apple pie. How do you keep fucking a pie simple? There's no way you, you buy can, a McDonald's like apple a, pie. You take a bite and you work the tip. That's a pocket. So you know that's, <laughs> like a, that's a pocket pie. That's a pocket that's pie. Yeah. If you gonna do it, why are you gonna ruin a whole pie when you can just buy a fucking McDonald's apple pie and get busy with that? Yeah, oh, open it now. Because they're making them smaller now. Uh-huh. They was wide gap a couple years ago, but <laughs> yeah, now they, they tight. They tight lip now. Yeah, you might have to get two and spread them yeah, apart. You might and put them back together. together. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> like man, like I said, I went to school with a dude that ended up fucking a pig. You know, <laughs> but he never came back after he came out that he fucked this pig. Uh, <laughs> there was a video circulating around my school of this girl. She was 15, and she had filmed herself fucking a cucumber and then fucking a flashlight. And the flashlight kept turning off and on. <laughs> so it was catching. It was catching. And we had this shit on VHS. Like, people were... <laughs> That's making, old school. People enough. were making duplicate copies of this shit and, like, giving it out at school. It was a really big deal. This girl had to, like, move Yeah, that's shit. child porno. Yeah. Like, that's scary shit. Like, I'm I mean, all for an adult. She made the video herself and gave it to her boyfriend. Well, no, look, I get it. But... <laughs> I'm not mad at her for being a horny little slut, <laughs> but like, <laughs> you can't put that video out till you're 18, young lady. You got to be 18 when you recorded it. No, I think our dad was like a cop too. There was some like other further. See, usually this. cops' kids are freaky any fucking uh-huh. way. Just like the reverence kids are freaky, you know what I mean? Yeah. They do uh-huh. some off the wall fucking shit because they're like, you know, you're supposed to be the perfect child. I'll it's show you. Yeah. So they become more rebellious. Like, fuck you, I'm going out here and I'm getting a trait. Ran on me, Dad. So I'm letting all these motherfuckers bugaki me and all Mason that shit. I'm going to his clone come on my face. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. At the same time. Like, shit. Y'all went there. That's well, what yeah, that's the... <laughs> that's what... <laughs> y'all. The one person made that statement. See, the Jew is constantly scared by the way that I would particularly go. Like... Like I was saying, man, I might just have to start the Imperfect Entertainment Pornographic Company. Oh, no, I sent y'all one of a handicapped chick, too. A handicapped chick? Yeah, there was this handicapped chick. Matter of fact, I'm going to send it to y'all right now. And this is on the Instagram? I'm about to, as soon as I find out who I sent it to. Because, uh, yep, I found it. I think you sent me a handicapped <laughs> chick thing. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Nah, man. Well, I'm not even gonna say nah. Say, what if Stephen Hawking? Be... What if Stephen Hawking had like the rock hard badass dick, and he just had bitches come in and he'd be like, suck this dick, and they'd be like sucking his dick. <laughs> Uh, you never know. Like if I, can get, if I could probably come across the shit and be like, you know, what Stephen the fuck Hawking are they working with? To be the dude in the porno, that would be hysterical. As, a, as the only woman on the show right now, I can say I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're not a porn star. We're not, I would we're love not paying to talk you to, bang. to him. I would love to have a conversation with Stephen Hawking. I think he's brilliant and fascinating and very interesting dude. However, I don't think I'd suck his dick. You know, I don't I, even care how famous and smart it is. Well, but like, there was a time where he was not physically unable. I know. And he used to bang I saw a lot that of movie, and, and he was super cute in that movie. That little like. Well, that's because he was that dude that's super cute in real life. Whoever was playing him. Yeah, they did a good job casting. Of course, they got to put a hot guy in to play that fucking weirdo. I mean, it got me thinking. Like, hey, Stephen Hawking may have, may, you know, might have, have been a time. Might have tapped it. Absolutely. Back in the day. Might have been a time. <laughs> Before the deadly <laughs> Absolutely. No, I'm Before with the you. degenerative disorder. Exactly. Like, what the degenerative disease that's gonna like, like, I got a question for you, Mike. All right, what you We're got? going dark now, sort okay, of. Cool. Like, say, no say you you meet. Janet Jackson uh -huh. and she's like I love you okay. you're like I love you too Janet and then she's like but I have Stephen Hawking disease and in 15 years I'm going to be in a wheelchair and not be able to talk okay that's my man alright Emma let's go yeah no problem let's we got go. this hey look we gonna get it in hardcore for the we'll, next we'll 7 to 12 new, yeah we'll learn oh, yeah, like, that's fine. you blinking you know that's you blink fine. a couple times and I know it's make the most out of it yeah sure. Gotta make it happen. Like even still, they, they got contraptions now. You can put people in to make shit work. I mean, fuck. That's true. <laughs> yeah, but there's like, oh, there's I, although if if Janet's yeah. in the thing and she's like, put me in the sex swing, Mike, and you're like, Psh, all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. Exactly. That's what it's there for? Right. You know. All I the mean, positions in the sex swing. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, like I'm helping you. I'm taking pressure off of limbs. And providing pleasure at the same time, like shit, that's a win-win. Win. -win. win. Yes. Yeah, dude. Yeah, all the way around. Yes. <laughs> See, look, everybody's in agreement on this stuff. Yeah, look at that. See, yeah. and look, all started from me being stupid. We're not that oh. far apart here. <laughs> that's true. Yo, your boy had a glitch again, man. That shit, man. That motherfucker locked up. He's having seizures, man. He needs to be He's taken had, out. He, it's Who? either seizures, Mitch McConnell. McConnell. He's either uh, having seizures or he has a brain aneurysm. One of the two is happening. Karma. <laughs> that too, but I'm it's, just saying. It's like you gotta stop doing stuff at a certain point. Like every time I see one of these old people in Congress, I'm always like, man, if my parents were acting like that, I'll be like, come on, Pop, we gotta get you out yeah, of here. Yeah, we got like, these motherfuckers. He's talking, he's like, and you know. He just stood there. Oh, it, I'm sorry, what was the question? It's like he just shit himself. It's like a little kid when they shit he themselves. Probably did. I guarantee you. Could did. be. It's totally he, feasible. Just, and. and Incontinence is uh, very typical for people over the age of 75. Well, but if you're How old is that fucker, actually? How old is Mitch McConnell? 80 something? Is he really? He's God gotta damn be. It. Well, so Diane Diane Feinstein is like fucking 90 and she can't even like take care of herself in reality, but she's still a congressperson. Look, I don't agree with it. I'm just saying. It's fucked up. <laughs> um, Mitch McConnell, I used to book political advertisements when I worked in Georgetown for a year. And the Holy amount shit. of money that the, that Mitch McConnell's political teams paid to get his advertisements oh, yeah. out there, it was insane, y'all. The fucker's 81 insane. years old. He's 81? 81, yep. I don't think you should be 81 running the country. I just think he's too old. Go uh, take a nap, Grandpa. I agree with you. It yeah. makes me sad. Like, let people that are actually... Able-minded body. Yes. And in touch with technology, in touch with environmental awareness, in touch with so many things. Just in touch know? with people in general. I right. think the basic ability to communicate is really... Um, that is an important that is thing. Racist. I think it's an important <laughs> thing. It would be nice if there weren't so many racists in Congress. Yeah, that it's too, but you know, these motherfuckers now, they just old as fuck. It's like fucking... Too old. I, I look at them as like, you know, I can smell mothballs. I can smell fucking... <laughs> Old, old, what's that fucking shit that old women used to wear in church? But whatever that fucking shit was, I could smell it. You know white what I mean? Diamonds, that's it. That's it. Them bitches with this white <laughs> diamond mothballs and that's brute the cologne. One that she would have the commercial where she was like, Liz These have Taylor. always brought me luck. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. It Liz Taylor? Yeah, yeah, with the fucking violet eyes, the violet lie bitch. <laughs> 
These have always brought me luck. I'm looking that commercial up right now. Nah. I tell you what though, this heat that's fitting to come, there's gonna be some shit. Assholes, armpits, and every crevice and crack gonna be stinking. Well, like, I mean, I'm really glad because I've I've changed out one of the seats in the Corvette to like a 16 year newer seat. There you go. And it has the ventilation where it blows on. Oh, the there back. you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Turns Keep cool on that motherfucker then. I drove around all day today in that motherfucker, not sweating when I would have been sweating in the old seat. Hell yeah. Plus, the really cool thing is. It's it's such a much more stable seat. It's so much better. It's so much. In, it's like the car is totally new again. Like it, yeah. it drives so much better Upgrade. with that seat in it. Upgrade nice. city. I love it. Live your best life. Yeah. Uh, is this Liz? Yeah, this, this is Liz. Liz. Now this is a perfume commercial. Brought me up. A man. White diamonds, the intriguing fragrance from Elizabeth Taylor. Exclusively at Peebles. <laughs> right. Die, dog and boy. <laughs> Only at JC Penny. Some old the bitches up there in Congress, section. white diamond. Dude's got the brute, some old spice, the original I mean, old spice. Somebody, somebody posted that clip 17 years ago on on YouTube, and I guarantee you that commercial was at least 17 years old. Yeah, we found that joint. Yeah, like, ain't nobody, sure. ain't nobody buying no Liz Taylor perfume that is under the age of 40. Yeah, I feel like there are women that still buy it, but they're probably old. They're in, they're at least <laughs> 65 and up. Those right, right there, yeah. 60, that's 65 and up They're right my mama's there. age. Because yeah. they, they get stuck in that one, like, you know, this is my shit, this is what right. I wear. But they put on too much of it. Yeah, oh, way yeah, yeah, yeah. too much. wearing white diamonds, you got on too much. I don't understand how they put that much on, but then again, you know. When I was in high school, I wore Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar. It was like my signature scent. But see, Bath & Booty Works, that always got motherfuckers fucked up. Cause you had that, you had that, what was it? Watermelon cucumber yeah. shit that motherfucking bitches yeah. swore was a shit. And yeah. that shit was not right. No. I never wore that. It smelled like strippers. I only wore the warm vanilla up. sugar. All Until strippers I, I wore that shit. Day, I had a day at college and the guy's like, yo, like I really like you, but you smell like my mom. And I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, so, I, on, stopped, on, so I stopped wearing it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It freaked me out. I was like, oh no, I don't want to smell like his mom. Hold on. Did you still give it to him? Smelling like his mom. Nah, he didn't hit that. I think I had already given it to him when he made the mom comment. <laughs> That's a lie, that's a lie. Like, I like you, girl, I mean, but I, I appreciate already, you giving me the booty. We definitely already made out. I can't but it reminds me of my mama. <laughs> like, I can't remember if we actually did it or not. But either way, I was like, oh no, and I, I didn't want to wear it anymore, and I stopped wearing it. Yeah, as soon as you say, you smell like my mama. I, I think It's it, not a good thing. Nobody ever wants to smell like your mama. <laughs> it would have been much nicer uh. of him to say, you smell like old lady. No, that would have been and offensive too. No, it would have been <laughs> offensive, but it would have been non-specific and it wouldn't have been yeah. weird. Yeah. Like, you smell like my mom, chick. I just fucked. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that is kind of sad. It's fucking <laughs> weird. I'd be like, you smell like an old lady. Right. And I can't fuck with old ladies unless they're old ladies. No, I wouldn't you know have said old lady. I'd have been like, you smell like the woman at church. No, no, maybe. You see, that's a nice way to say it. That's a polite way to put it. That's a nicer way to say it. That's real cute. Not every kid goes to church. You smell though. like a librarian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, that's not good. Library, that's like a little rough right now. I, I, think, I think the church would go better than the librarian. Not like a librarian. I just, it was oh, this guy's mom. I smelled like his mom. And I didn't want to smell like that anymore. So I left, well, I it's, left it. It's almost, like, it's almost like perfumes need to be categorized by era. When, yeah. when were you born? These are the ones you should optimally go for. That way yeah. you don't smell like. Like when y'all were 15, Dracar Noir. Do you guys remember that? Oh man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you always always smelled like that shit. <laughs> uh, that, that was that was that I was for like church. I, knew, I feel like I knew so many guys that smelled like that. That was that was a church cologne. Uh, See, I, I, you had to learn. You got to know your sense. I'm an anti cologne kind of guy. Like, that doesn't surprise me about you. Like years ago, I had a girlfriend that. <laughs> I don't liked, mean that in a mean way. I'm I just, understand, but I like she, like she liked guy. this like green polo that I had, mm -hmm. and I would literally like 
spray it in the air and then wipe the little thing like right in between like the middle of my neck or whatever just, a hint. just the slightest bit just and when she'd hint. get close to me she could smell it and she really dug it but yeah. she could smell it and i couldn't so like if i like can smell it i don't like it so like i need it to be so subtle that I don't even notice right. it. But see, it's all about how you place it, where you place it, and what right. your and, scent and is. And that's why I put it right here. Because because then when she was close to me, yeah, she would. You and know, that's where you put it. At. You put you put your it. cologne right here on your neck, some on your wrist right here. I you like put this, it where you're gonna sweat at. This little cracks. spot in between. Right, the fellas, bones, are you listening? Where the yeah. collarbones <laughs> come together. This little spot but right see, there. But see, some of these cats, they be, they they, they overdo just spray it. all their clothes. They like nah. walk into it like a woman. You gotta like, no, you, you gotta, gotta put it on your skin it. where you're gonna be fucking yeah. sweating because that's how it's triggered. That's how it creates pheromones. the pheromones. Pheromones, right. y'all. But the thing is, you gotta understand that your scent plus another scent that you're putting on you creates a new scent. Create, yeah, exactly. So you gotta find out what it's, sense works for you. And it's, I don't even know if it's a nuisance. It's the excessive level that they put it on. I will bet you I could rock almost any cologne, and if I put it on in the method that I'm talking about that a girl that's into me is going to dig the way I smell because, because it's, but it's also right. but it's also certain women like certain smells like all right so back in my day it was I had the dark or I had the cool water. What was the aqua de Gio or what was that? The, oh, the Gio? Yeah, yeah Gio. What was that? that? That shit was so good. That right still there. Cool water. So, yeah, I rock cool water. Cool water's for work, you know what I mean? But when I go out, it's Calvin Klein B. Nice. That's my joint right there. Lovely. Then I got some Versace on the side, you know what I mean, for those like important dinner moments, you know what I'm saying? Then you I wear got Versace for important dinner moments? Yeah, right. you know what I mean? Such a turn on. Cologne. <laughs> yeah, this, this the cologne. <laughs> I'm things, sitting over here and I'm like, like, I'm like what do you wear I, for a night out? No, <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> if I have a Versace shirt, should I wear Versace cologne? No, you don't need to. I mean, why it's not? All the, it, but you can. Maybe. I mean, it all depends on like what, like I have colognes for certain things. Well, see, I right. saw something and it was yeah, like me too. you could buy like a sampler pack of colognes yeah right and i thought oh that's interesting because like literally cologne i use it so sparingly and so little that if i had like designer cologne sample pack it would probably last me for the rest of my life and i'd be like oh what do i feel like today a little what's that ckb is that what the kids are so calling it they, put a little dab on and then keep moving like that shit would last me forever dude they actually have the, these like different mailing prescription services that you can sign up for and shit and they will give you like a little tiny tester bottle that's good it'll last you like 30 days what right and like you just get a different scent like every month you can pick like whatever cologne yeah. you want it's, I mean, you know, they charge you like, I think 10 bucks a month mm -hmm. type thing, but it's one of those like... Do they give you like little samples? Little sample I mean, they're bottles. like, they're like this big. They're fucking they like a ball of chapstick. You gave me one it's bigger, ounce. It's a little bigger little than you that. You give me it's one my, my, my index finger. You give me one mic index Look, finger it, it worth of I signed of up for it for a little while, color. and honestly, That's there was some... size bottle, y'all. Did y'all see was that some, finger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that finger's not much cologne-wise, but it's a lot in the booty hole. Well, we're going about a 17. That's, That's what we're going with. Size 17 on that finger right there. Yeah, you know, my ring finger is actually a 14.5. Uh, are 14 you serious? Five. Yeah. <laughs> That's a finger. Yeah. See, you don't want that That's in your finger right there. You don't need that over there. I appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I like girthy, but good God. Yeah, my finger's like a six, y'all. Like, I have finger skinnier, like half the size of you. <laughs> you know what's funny? <laughs> what? I have no idea. <laughs> you no probably idea. like a 10 or maybe 11. I think I like it's like a nine. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell my finger would be. Yeah. I was thinking about getting like a tattoo of a ring on my ring finger because they say that like women dig dudes that are married. So you know, it just <laughs> crossed my mind. <laughs> you I don't know. I thought about getting uh, away. I feel like, yeah, I, feel like that I, movie? I, uh, that movie was really good. It was cute. I, I, um, just thought, go with it. Just, just go yeah. with it. Yep. I thought about getting a wedding ring just to go to bars and like see what happens. There's a shorty I social know. Social experiment. Yes. A full on social experiment. I mean, you're going to get hit on the yeah. line. You can just have to leave. There's a woman I on. know. You can lie and say you was married and she's dead. You know what I mean? Oh, oh so I can't wow. Get oh, wait a minute. Or you can be like, or you got to be like, or more of an asshole. I got you. Yeah, she's at the house. <laughs> which one's more of an asshole? You know, she's alive or the she's dead. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like, you're still an asshole either way, but which no, is but worse? the question you know, is, friend? which will turn a woman on more, which these crazy bitches out here at the bar that like dudes with wedding rings, because they're out She's there. She's dead. She's yeah, dead, that'll work more. better? Yeah. 
But because that's... that makes her feel like she's giving you the pussy because <laughs> no, she it just means it. there's no competition. Right. But some right. like the competition. That's, that's my point. I feel like they like the competition. Oh yeah, it's fine. I'll be better than your dead wife. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Like, <laughs> that doesn't exist. I'm it's sure. A, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different kind of competition. I'm sure. It's still. <laughs> I'm sure you will be better than my dead wife. You know what I mean? But like, if I've got a wife at home and that's the reason I'm out drinking, like, it seems like nah. there's a lot of bitches out there that like dudes with the wedding rings that like these half married motherfuckers I, I, and I think what it is is they can fuck them and not have to worry about them being like hey let's go out again I know this girl no, who I wears didn't. one Mm-mm. she wears a fake band on her finger I remember the one cause I went in there a job one time and I was getting on she had to sign a paper or whatever and I was like, oh, shit, your man finally, you know, popped the question and shit on you. And she was like, fuck, no, he didn't. I broke up with that motherfucker three months ago. That bitch wouldn't fucking propose. I'm like, well, okay. How and long was she with this dude? Seven years. Wow, seven years is a long time. Yeah, I don't so blame her. She That's said, time. fuck Honestly, that. She goes, like, I went out, I bought myself this on. kind of vehicle, and I put this ring on my finger. I was like, well, why you got the ring on your finger? To she was like, because I don't want motherfuckers hollering at me. She was like, I get tired of motherfuckers coming up to me. I don't want to deal with these motherfuckers. Right. I'm like, all right, fair enough. All right, so, yep. A couple months ago, I kept go my by. wedding ring on for a long time after I like split with my husband. Did it, it just... keep dudes away from you? Yeah. Oh, well, wow. no, actually, I think more dudes actually approached me because they were like, "Oh, you're married," and like, would just you happy? yeah. Well, no, I think that it was honestly they probably were weren't looking for anything beyond like surface level flirting at this bar you know like yeah. i don't think it was like surface level flirting can be nice yeah you know. and usually like married women are pretty neglected so married so they, women they lap up the attention they love, at bars they, they fucking love it, love it. They yeah love that shit when They're i like it's a girl's night when i bartended <laughs> man i would say booty stuff grinding to, up on everybody i would say crazy <laughs> things to married women because you can. Crazy. That's what I'm saying. And like, they loved it. They'd go home and fuck the shit out of their husband afterwards. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Or somebody so. else. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what happened in our cases. It could be. I mean, I mean it could have been me a couple times. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. You know. Like, I made money off of, I made more money off of my wedding ring than I fucking paid for that bitch. Which was nice as fuck, because I'm like, man, I got to get rid of this motherfucker. I had diamonds in my shit. I'm like, man. Baller. Yeah. So I fucking run into this one dude, and I was like, yo, man, what'd you do with your wedding ring? He goes, oh, man, you can pay for that bitch, man. I got a site you here. Know, you know what's funny? Y'all know Harvest, right? Back yeah. in the day, Harvest was like going to ask this bitch to marry him. Yeah. And I was like, man, you need to get that girl a CZ. He's like, no, I can't do that. And I was like, bro. Get her a fucking cubic zirconia and be like, it's a fake diamond, but I love you, so I want to marry you, and one day I'll buy you a real diamond. But I want to get you something that looks nice, that is beyond my level of ex- uh, uh, expenditure, yeah. right? So I got you a CZ because it's nicer. It's fake, but it's nicer, and I'm not going like to lie to you. like a starter you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is that what you're proposing? I, not even. Mm. Like, this is a real engagement <laughs> ring. It's a it's fake real, diamond. It's a fake diamond. Because I can give you a much nicer diamond. I give you a much nicer, yeah. I I mean, you a much nicer diamond and save a lot of money. <laughs> you know, I get you a much nicer fucking yeah, looking yeah. ring and shit. And I was like, because I didn't trust the bitch, too. I was like, you shouldn't be fucking buying a ring for this fucking bitch. You know what I mean? And God. Sure enough, they made about, I don't know, a year and a half, two years. and got divorced. And I, was, and I remember said to him, Hey, bro. Did you say I told you so? I did. I you're was like, such a dick. I was, hey, remember, remember when I told saying, you you should get so a cubic zirconia? <laughs> you're so rude. I was like, bro, I told you you should have got a cubic zirconia. <laughs> but you ain't yeah, look. My brother did the same shit to me. I said the same my thing brother, to you. My brother did the exact same shit to me. Told he told you to get a cubic? If we were no. friends, no. I'd have done he it told, to you. He told me, man, don't fuck with that bitch because there's something wrong with her. There's something that's not right. And I'm like, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. He's like, no, motherfucker. You know I fuck with all these crazy bitches. That bitch right there, there's something wrong with her. Don't marry her. That's exactly yeah, what was wrong with her. You ain't listen. Yeah, it, yeah, fuck. She was just a trifling hoe. You ain't listen. <laughs> but my brother was like, yeah. And then when fucking all this shit happened, I'm fucking like going through shit, stressing, fucking crying over my kids' case here. This motherfucker calls me up. Why they tell you? Yeah, but you ain't way I, Nigga, I don't need to hear that shit right now, you nah, motherfucker, you, you but know, at the same time... You know why we say these things, too? Because they, they already know. No, so you'll listen the next time. Man. Remember the time I told you to get a CZ for your fucking stupid-ass <laughs> ex-wife? Yeah. Get but a see, fucking CZ, stupid. But th- this is how I know that I'm doing good this go-round, because my brother already considers Doss for Bowden's sister. Like, he calls her sissy, loves her to death. Like, I'm like... 
shit. And I told her, you're the first one that he's ever done shit like that for. All the rest of them, he ain't do shit like this for. Like, all right, cool. That's what's up. And he's the one that fucks with the crazy bitches? Yeah. All right, then, Mike, you're doing all right for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Congratulations, right. Das Verboten. Yeah. When is the wedding, anyway? Uh, we're shooting for next year, probably in the fall, but we haven't come up with shit yet. We still got to find a venue, man. Like, it's been a hectic process of trying to find a place, you know, because post-COVID prices are fucking stupid. You know, are. You know what we can do for you? We can have your uh, your version of Pound Town play at your wedding. Oh, no, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> that ain't gonna work now. <laughs> no. That ain't gonna work now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, next week we're going to be premiering Mike's version of Pound Town. Uh, the parody exclusive. <laughs> she tastes right. Dick a trick down. I didn't mean to lay that track over the wedding song. Y'all laughing with toes, man. I'm not sucking on no toes. Yeah, he's talking man. about sucking on clean. toes. If they clean, clean. He's sucking on them toes. Yeah. Have you ever had your toes sucked? I have. Did you of course like she it? has. She's a girl. Girl, she likes it. She, likes it. she no didn't dislike it. I, uh, she she didn't toes. dislike it. No, here's the thing. Okay, as far as like in terms of what it felt like, it was it like tickled, you know. Yeah. So it didn't it make was, you warm and fuzzy on the inside. You weren't like, ooh, I'm dripping wet. No, but I was like, I'm so flattered that this man would suck my toes. <laughs> Yeah, see? That is a certain, look, look. That's a certain level if, of like, wow, he must really, really like yeah, exactly. me. Exactly. So to me, it's like you're wasting. I, if you're going to put something of mine in your mouth, put my dick in your mouth. Get that motherfucking foot away from it. No, I don't want my toes in a bitch mouth ever. That's my point. Never. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I don't belong do that. in no yeah. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> They don't even belong in the tiny, tiny hand in the soap, in the fish. Maybe the fish. The Maybe fish. Like some baby fish piranhas and shit. She's got a coin fish toes suck on your toe, but he that's it. He got them Jim Curry dumb and dumber toes and yeah, shit, man. Yeah, my, my toes like, are fucked up, man. I need something yeah, serious on them. He need them feet but with good teeth on them. Yeah, that's I need like a baby cow and all these. Them fish are swimming around with a good set of teeth on them. Not just yeah. them little baby cuppies. They got to work on these motherfuckers. Get the medium-sized oh. fish going to be here and all these motherfuckers. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I don't think there's going to be people in droves that want to suck their toes. Like, yeah, <laughs> like no. y'all gotta worry about no, it. That ain't, that ain't really like. It my has concern. happened. There, yes. Like I've actually, I've been walking around gas stations before and had dudes be like, "Yo, girl, them toes." <laughs> and I'm like, uh, "What?" what and they're was like, the one movie? I suck on them toes. What and I'm like, really? You're thinking Thank of you. Don't be a mess. <laughs> Where he went to lick on her feet in the bus or some shit? No, nah, no. Nah, like there was, there was like uh, all sorts of funky feet action going on. And don't be a menace while drinking yeah, juice was, in the hood. Because they was in the bed. He or put the toe in his yeah. mouth and then he like he, pulled yeah, something out of his mouth. Oh, yeah, the corn. <laughs> that Disgusting. was almost like that. Uh, but my point is, if I'm going to take the like you say, oh, I'm so flattered that this man put his my foot in his mouth. Like, mm -hmm. would you not be more flattered as well as actually turned on if he put your JJ in his mouth? Oh. Um. Um, well, it, yeah. Isn't course, that, that way be better? Like, if, yeah, that would be more enjoyable, probably. See, but that's my point. If a girl's like, <laughs> like can I suck on your fine, toes? fine, but I mean... I, I'm going to be like, how about you suck on my dick? Well, see, this like, is what I'm saying. Like, all right, so you hitting the missionary, you got the leg up right here, and that toe just come across. You might as well put it in your mouth while Man, you out of your mind. I I'm hang on to the fucking leg for some more leverage to get my pop on. That's just extra right, right there. It's just a little extra. He, he is <laughs> totally extra. I don't get it. Like, I don't fucking get it. It's just something right there. That's why I fucks with the threesome with two chicks. I ain't going lower than the ankle. <laughs> yeah, I'm an ankle up kind of guy too, Jim. And that's fine, honey. I'm an ankle up kind of guy. Appreciate that's you, fine. You know, like I'm, I'm just... more flattered when a dude eats my ass. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> well, we're here. Put that booty on the platter. You guys it's know. You guys hey, I didn't hey, 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 worry about that. Y'all know. Y'all know. Yeah. I, I ain't the cleanest motherfucker. So. <laughs> you don't know what I'm saying. No, you gotta eat, you gotta eat, you gotta eat. Gotta eat. Uh, all the groceries. <laughs> you gotta eat, let's eat. <laughs> eat that booty from the back, huh? I mean, that's like such a compliment. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, like, because you can only put your tongue but so far into a booty hole. That's true. Yeah, as far as your tongue is. 
That's right. That's right. There's distinctive resistance. You got that kiss tongue. You got that kiss tongue. Yeah, the kiss tongue. That's going in there. That's like having last week's yeah. dinner. Yeah, you, yeah. you get hold of something with the kiss tongue. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. you, you got to pull something out. <laughs> you get hold of something with the kiss tongue. You pull something you out. out you something. pulling a plum out. You yeah. really get something more to conversation. I'm saying that right now. Yep, yeah, because he going in. He going in. <laughs> what? Once again, I'm not. I'm like, if I got kiss tongue, I'm they probably so going high. to the JJ. Well, so hot. Dingleberry hanging off the tongue. We got, Ew, we got don't say that. Got, oh yeah, a little no. red. A little Come red. on. He got a little red. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's up. Oh, it's so up. Foul. So the what? dude is never. <laughs> <laughs> Oh that was a God. party, man. That was a party. You got any bleach? Uh, <laughs> I need a bleach stand and wipe it and bro play. Okay. Pots I'm, kiss you. Pots I'm like negative turned on now at this point. <laughs> After that, I'm going to kiss you negative. right on the mouth, Aaron Rodgers. Deeply you think negative. You Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> These fools. I'm so sorry. I never really know what I'm going to get when I come on this show. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna be never done good. <laughs> what is your little microphone? What? Is <laughs> great. Now I'm taking the commitment to it though. Rest in Sheer peace. Barker's commitment Still to the working. Bob Barker mic. Is I know. I should have been wearing like a cheeseburger in paradise hat. That's the shout out. That's the shout out that, that, that needed to be out. Yeah. Is to not because of his music, but just the fact that Jimmy, Jimmy Buffett, Buffett is the only motherfucker to make. Billions and billions yes. of dollars, probably really off of 12 songs. 12 songs. His entire lifestyle. life. Lifestyle. He created. When you go to Jimmy Bubba concert, it's the same lifestyle. concert. Same every concert, state, same every people. county, every every whatever. It's the same fucking concert. There was it's a lot the of best, titties out the there. It's the best energy ever. Titties, but the fact that he it can fill up I've been to three, thousands of people with the same three concert concerts for is him. just ridiculous. Yeah. Show after show after show, same for concert. Years and years and years. Years and yeah. years. So yeah. I saw him 20, when I was 30 years 15 in. 15 and when I was like 36 and another time when I was like 38, I guess. I've seen him three times, right? Same exact show every time. And honestly, it's like that. It's just the vibe. Like the yeah. tailgaters, they're some of the nicest fucking people. Like you set up cornhole, you like tailgate for a super long time. People are drinking punch out of random coolers, like jungle juice everywhere. People are dancing. Like it's people amazing. It it's amazing. Yeah, they do. I couldn't pull up my ticket at like the last one that I went to, and like there were four or five security guards like standing there. This was at like uh, what is that place in DC? Not DC. Capital. Uh, yeah. No. The Capitol uh, Arena, MCI? Yes, yes, yeah. the Capitol Arena. So, like, trying to get in, and, like, I, like, jumped over the fence. And they were like, ma'am, ma'am. And they are like, all right. I was like, please. I was like, my phone's not pulling on my ticket. And they were like, it's okay, honey. Go ahead. <laughs> I just snuck into the Jimmy Buffett concert. Like, what? But People were so nice, though. Jimmy like, Buffett fans were a lot different. Honestly, like, man, when you see them, and they were out, people. especially when they would come out here, when he come out here to fucking Nissan or Jimmy, what is this? They just want to have a good that? time, Jimmy? man. Yeah. They just want to have a good time. They didn't have a party. Yeah, that man was purely there for a party. They're there for the yeah. party because they don't really give two fucks about the music. Well, wow. he made a beer oh company, God, no. or like a corporate restaurant company yep. that is everywhere. It's um, a, I went to it in the Bahamas. Yeah, one he's time. he's got quite a uh, business accoutrement of what he accomplished in his life. So he's definitely kind of such a badass. I mean, shout out to that dude. <gasps> yeah, rest in peace. Like they'll pull up the same show every just. Yeah, you don't worry about forgetting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You know the 16 songs you playing, you know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, with that said, oh, yeah. we're going to have to bring this episode of the Mason and Friends show to a close. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'd like to thank you for tuning in. I'd like to encourage you to listen to old episodes as well as new episodes. Uh huh. Like, share, subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Ring that bell and whatever the fuck else there is to do. Follow this shit. And yep, 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 yep. Thumbs up and such. But, uh,. Yeah, you know, be nice to people that look like you. Be nice to people that don't look like you. Don't be a dick. Uh Uh-huh. Little bit by little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Keep moving forward. That's right. Keep grinding on the shit you are trying to get done because that is how things get done. We believe in you. That's right. Don't forget just how much we love you. Love y'all. And we wish you nothing but the best. All day, every day. And peace be with you. Gone.